I do have something. Oh, got one. Yeah. Oh, man. Let's go. Come on, boy. Hey, guys. It's Nan from Out Here Fishing, and we are here in Newport Beach, and I am going for tuna. It's so crazy to say that I'm going for tuna, but yes, that is my number one goal is to catch a tuna on the sea dew. And I heard that the bluefin is here in the OC waters, and now I just have to go look for them. But before I go and do that, I'm gonna tie up my lines and I'm gonna show you guys a little bit about what I have on the sea dew. Pretty much in the front console, that's pretty much where I have like my my lures, my stove, uh, like my, where I keep my wallet, my fishing line. Um, yeah, that's kind of what I keep in the front compartment. And then in the back compartment here, I have my rod holders, fishing bag, and in the cooler now, this, this is where I keep all my, ki my kitchen stuff. I have my lunchbox, my knives. Um, yeah, all my kitchen, my cooking stuff is in here. And I just installed this side compartment on the cooler from GC Jet Ski from, I believe he's in New Zealand? Yeah, I believe so. But it's pretty cool, it has a rod holder. This is where my, my, my knife is. And yeah, that's kind of the, the brief setup that I have. I'll explain in more detail maybe in another episode, but I wanna hurry up and get started. Oh, and also I have my first aid kit right here. It's really important I have my first aid kit. On this line, I want to be trolling a Mad Mac. So let's get this one all tied up. I think it's currently like 5.30 in the morning right now. And hopefully I could be in open waters by 6 in the morning. All right, I am using the Nomad Mad Mac 160 on this one. So I'll be trolling this round. And what's good about this Mad Mac is that it is a high speed trolling lure. So I could go up to like probably like 50 miles per hour, probably more on this one. On this one, I have the Ahi GT4 80 pound test line. All right, there you go guys. I have the Okumo rod it is called the Axiom Pro and I got the Shimano reel. 60 gram Colt Sniper on my Alexa. On this rod, I'm gonna use the Ahi GT4 30 pound test. So I'm gonna do a quick FG knot. Okay, I'm gonna finish tying this line, put the coast sniper on, and I will see you guys out there. If I could catch myself a tuna today, dude. And again, if not today, I'm going to continue on probably the rest of this week, the, the following week, until I catch myself a tuna or even a yellowtail. I, I still have not caught a yellowtail on the CDU as well, so. Those two fish, the yellowtail and the tuna, are my top priority on the fish that I want to catch on the sea dew. So a couple of other items that I want to share while I am heading out. I have my pliers here, my radio here, and then my PLB, my personal locator beacon. Since I go offshore a lot, it's nice to know that I have this personal locator beacon just in case anything happens. I can just whip this out and it's like a satellite thing where it doesn't rely on like reception. It will send my coordinates to like Coast Guard and they come find me. So really nice, really nice and safe to have this on you, especially when you go offshore. Shout out to Team Prestige. If you guys didn't know that I run a martial arts studio, that's what I do as my career. And thanks to my team, I am able to do my fishings during the day or during the week without having to stress so much about what goes on at the studio yeah I have a great team and I get to enjoy the outdoors a little bit more and a lot of you guys in the comments and on my Instagram and all that stuff saying like man 
what a dream life, you're living the dream, all that stuff. And you know, at one point, I was looking at other people's like YouTubes, also commenting the same thing. I was saying the same thing to myself, like, man, they are living the dream. They're out there, they're fishing all the time. I wish I could do that. Um, but at that time, I was grinding, man. The last like four or five years, no, actually longer, like the last like 10 years, like through college, through my engineering degree, my engineering job, running a business. Dude, I was grinding so hard, man. Like working Monday through Sunday, never had a break. Was barely fishing, man. And now that, you know, my business is, is running smoothly and things are like falling into place, I am enjoying the fruits of my labor for sure. When I tell you guys that I busted my ass, I busted my ass. <laughs> and now I'll maybe go into a little more detail on how I did it. Like as you can see, I don't have an eight to five job. I'm, I'm a full-time entrepreneur. I tried the eight to five job that it didn't work for me. It didn't work for the lifestyle that I wanted for myself. Just keep following me on this journey, guys. I'm not sure, I'm not 100% sure where it's gonna go and how far I'm gonna take it. But just know I'm having a lot of fun and that's, that's what matters. I'm enjoying every minute of being out here. Even if I don't catch fish, I'm, I still enjoy coming out here. So yeah, keep following me on this journey, guys. You're seeing the start of out here fishing. And when I want something and I envision something, trust me, I'm going to get it. That's just how I work. If I really want something to happen, I'm going to make it happen. And yeah, I'm excited. So sorry for the long rant. <laughs> I will see you guys out there when I make it offshore. The mouth of the harbor is so insane. It's like completely still. Oh my gosh, this looks wild. The weather is so calm. I'm gonna turn my eco mode on. So I'm not wasting gas. There you go, eco mode is on. So I just press this mode button and it sets me to eco. So I won't be able to go more than 30 miles per hour. I'm in the general spot of where I wanna be, but I don't really see any signs of like life. There's no birds, there's no bait. I'm just like shooting in the dark right now. So. I'm just gonna troll the Mad Mac around and just see what happens. I'm gonna be in the general area. Just, I'm gonna keep trying to spot for signs of life. Um, and yeah, that's really all I could do right now until I see any schools of bait. But let's try it out. So, uh, got the Mad Mac and I'm gonna troll it back like maybe like 100 yards. out there now it's really just searching just gotta keep looking for them got stuck on something.
do have something. Oh, no way. Oh, guys, I have a bonita. What? Oh my gosh, I have a bonita. Oh my gosh. Oh, dude, I have a bonita. Come on. Oh man. Oh. Oh, dude. This is the strongest bonita I've ever fought. Oh. <laughs> Here we go, guys. Here we freaking go. Oh, man. Oh, man. Come here. Oh, dude. This is huge. Huge. Oh. Huge bonita. Okay. I gotta get the gaff. Oh. Okay. Come here. Oh. Okay. Okay. Come here. Okay, come here, come here. Ah. Oh gosh, come here, dude. Okay, release some wine. Come here. Yeah, yeah, big bonita. Oh my gosh, yeah. Holy crap! Holy! Okay, it's not a tuna, but the biggest bonita I've ever caught. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Holy smokes. Dude, these are huge. They're still here though. We gotta get more. Oh my gosh. Let's get it, dude. Yeah. All right. Oh my gosh, huge, huge bonita. Oh, oh man. Oh yes, we got sashimi. Yes, yes, hell yeah. All right, let's put him in the bag. Oh, oh, dude. Yes! No way! No freaking way! On the Promar gaff! Yes! Yes! Alright, let's get more. They're here. Let's get more. I found a school of them. Okay, let's freaking go! Let's freaking go! Okay. Oh. oh! All right, let's go. Let's get more. They're right behind me. Where'd they go? Oh, right there. Fish on! 
push on. Come on. Fish on again, another bonita. Yes! Come here, baby. Let's freaking get it. Oh. Okay. Okay. At least wide. Oh man. Oh man. Dude. These are huge. Oh my goodness. Dude, these are monsters. Oh. Bleed them. I gotta bleed the other one too. Oh my gosh. Okay. break off. I have 30 pound test on the Ahi GT4. Oh my gosh. Come here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Let's freaking go. These are monster bear coo uh, monster bonitas, man. Oh man! Oh man! Let's go! Come on! Come on, boy! Oh! Oh! Oh yes! Come here!
man. I gotta work on this. I gotta work on this so bad. They're still here. Let's keep an eye on those birds. Oh, man. Right. I gotta bleed them quick. my best friend. Do you locate the bird? Do you locate the fish? Do you see the bird? Now I just have to cast in the middle of that. In the middle of where all the birds are at. Oh. 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 Dang. Gosh, come here. Oh, swim towards me. Oh. 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 Dude, my line is barely hanging. Oh, come on. Oh. Nice one. Nice one. Oh. Oh. It's going to circle again. Oh. No. 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 Dude, come back. No, no, bad gaff job. Very bad gaff job. 
Oh my goodness. It's okay. Let's get another one. Dang it. No. Got it. Okay, we're on again. We're not losing this. Oh, okay. Oh. Nope, we're not losing this one today. Oh no, no way. Oh my gosh. What? Malfunction. Malfunction. <laughs> no. What just happened? What the heck? Oh my god. Oh my god. My reel almost came off my fishing pole. Dude, what a great rod. Oh man. Okay, we're not losing this fish now. We're not losing this fish now. Come here. Oh. 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 Oh, this is a good one. Oh, this is a really good one. Dude, don't lose this guy. This is good. This is a good one. Come here. Come here. Be patient. Yes, 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 it's in, it is in, oh, beautiful one, oh, dude, we're gonna eat sashimi for days, yes, oh, man, Oh man, dude, the Ahi GT4 line is holding up so well, so well. Oh. Okay. Now, I gotta bleed him. Thank you, buddy. What an amazing day. What an amazing day. This is the biggest bonito I've ever caught, period, on the sea -Doo. And the great thing about this sea -Doo is that I could chase birds so fast. Like right now I see birds over there and I could get to the birds as fast as I can. On the boat, I can still do that but I can't maneuver the boat as fast as I can on the sea -Doo. And I'm zipping, I'm like going as fast as I can straight to that spot. And maybe when I'm like 200 feet out, I just cast and I'm ripping them. Oh man. 
That's great. That's it. I got my five bonito. I think I can only keep five. So I have my five. Oh. Oh. Dude. You know, I came here to get tuna. But honestly, I'm actually really glad that I got bonito instead. Because I don't think I would have been able to handle <laughs> a humongous tuna because I'm just not ready for it. I just need more practice and the Bonito is really good practice. I want a tuna like three times the size and if I could barely handle a freaking Bonito, I mean, yeah, I would struggle really, really hard with a fat tuna. So, hey, I ain't complaining. This is amazing, amazing fish to eat as well. And I'm gonna cook some nice, I'm gonna have ceviche, I'm gonna have sashimi with this bonito. Man, what a fish. What an amazing fish. I was going to catch some rockfish as well to do a catch and cook, but I'm just gonna use the bonito. And I'm gonna fillet one up and do my bonito masubis. <laughs> Guys, these are such, oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at this! Oh my gosh! Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna use this one. Okay. Let me see what the size of this one is. This one is... Yeah. This one's about 28 inches. So thank you to Toadfish. They sent me this fillet knife. And it is one of the best fillet knives I've ever used. And it really is because of this handle. Like this, this grip on this fillet knife is so amazing. It, gri it grips perfectly into my hand. All right, so the design of this knife is great. It's a seven inch knife. So uh, I'm just gonna gut him. So I'm gonna start from here. Man, this knife is sharp. Look at that. Quick and easy. Oh, yeah, this fish has so much row. Oh man. Whoa. This start this bonu ate so many sardines. Dude, so many sardines. Alright, let's clean them. There you go. Quick and easy. I'm actually gonna prepare my rice. I'll just prepare it out here. Got my lunchbox. And got my rice. Got my rice. Pour it in the pot. Gotta clean the rice a bit. If you never cooked rice over like in a pot like this and you don't know how much water to use and if you're a true Asian, pinky method, you pretty much pour the water until the top of the rice to the top of the water is to the first crease of your pinky finger. Perfect. Let's get cooking. All right, I'll let you guys know when this is done. Should take about like 15 minutes. So I'm just gonna chill here. All right guys, the rice is pretty much ready. Couple more minutes and it should be good to go. So, the next step, I'm gonna make the marinade for the fillets. First, butter, honey, Italian seasoning, garlic powder, paprika.
paprika, onion powder. Wow, I brought pepper, but there's no more pepper in here. <laughs> Gosh. There you go. I'm gonna make two masubi, so I'm not gonna put too much butter. This is Mike's hot honey. I think that's good. Oh, too much. Paprika. Got onion powder. Italian seasoning. Here's pretty much the marinade. So I got honey, butter, and all the seasoning, and you just mix it all up. Let's bring the fish back out. Cut two fillets. Probably one right here. Two about right here. That's gonna be one fillet. And then the other one, about right here. That's one. Man, if I had some wasabi right now, I would cook, I would sashimi this right now. <laughs> there you go. Here's my two fillets. And with the bonito, you don't have to cook it fully because you could eat this raw if you wanted to. So there's no need to fully cook it through. I'm just gonna sear each side. Let me get my pan. Let's oil up the pan a little bit. All right, I think the oil is hot enough. Let's fry these bad boys. Yeah. Perfect. All right, let's put this over it. Seared it on both sides. I think that's enough. Okay, I'm gonna turn it off. And then now, I have the marinade that we had. I'm gonna drizzle on top. Yeah. Oh yeah. There you go. Last thing I gotta make is the dressing on the top of the rice. So I got kupi mayo. Okay, and then I need to cut a lemon. Okay, squeeze that in there. Mix this up. It's literally just cupy mayo and lemon. And I got nori. I'm gonna fill this up with rice. Oh, how cool. Nice. I'm gonna dress the rice with some cocky. Oh. Like that. Okay. Then I'm gonna drizzle some of this mayo on top. Wow. I'm going to put 
fish on top. <laughs> this is actually looking pretty good. Okay. Ta-da! Put some for a cocky on this. Dress this one with the mayo. With the sauce. And then put this fish on top. Oh yeah. Perfect. Okay. Will it wrap? Oh man, too big. Okay. Oh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> we got Bonito Masubis. Yeah. Nice. All right. Let's cut one in half. Oh. All right, I'm gonna bite it. Oh yeah. Oh, that's good. That's real good. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. Fresh catch and cook, guys. Fresh catch and cook. What a lunch. Thank you so much for watching my ridiculousness. Because <laughs> this is ridiculous. I know it is. But it's fun. I love being out here. Try new things, see if it works, and look what it turned out. It turned out great. Man, this one's falling apart. Whatever. If you guys like this content, please like it, subscribe to it, share it, all the above. I'm going to keep coming out here. I got big plans ahead, Calian trips, Cor uh, Coronado Islands, got a lot of things that I'm planning this year, so stay tuned you guys, this is just the beginning. Alright, I will see you guys on the next one, peace!